In this example, we're asked to complete the table using the graph. So we know that we've got this function here in the middle of our graph, and so our functions can be described using coordinates with an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, where x is our horizontal movement from the origin and y is our vertical movement from the origin. So in this table, we want to complete this first coordinate point here where we have an x-coordinate of negative 5. So that means we want to move 5 spaces to the left, because again we're talking horizontal and it's negative, and find where the function would cross. So if I move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces, I want to look anywhere along this vertical line at negative 5 for where the function crosses, which would happen to be right here. And that is going to be the point negative 5 and then we move down from the axis one, two spaces. So since it's down, it's negative, and we move down two spaces. So I'll fill in a negative two in my table. Next, I want to fill in this middle section right here, and I'm looking for where the y coordinate would be negative four. So remember, y is our vertical movement, so I'm going to start at the orig origin and move either up or down. It is a negative 4, so I'm going to move down 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So anywhere along this line, this horizontal line is where I want the function to cross, which is going to be right here. And so we're looking for the x-coordinate, which is our horizontal movement. So how far away from the axis is it? 1, 2, 3 to the left. Remember, left is negative. And of course, we move down 4 spaces. So the point would be negative 3, negative 4. So I'm going to fill in a negative 3 in my table. For my last point here, they give us the x-coordinate of negative 1. So I'm going to start at my origin, and remember x is our horizontal movement, left or right. And so with a negative, I want to move to the left one space, which would be right here. So anywhere along this vertical line is where I want the function to cross. It crosses way down here. And so we want to count how many spaces from the x-axis that is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember that was down, so it's going to be a negative 6. So I can fill in a negative 6 in my table, and we're done.